you may receive some unexpected communication from someone who threw you away. I don't know who this message is for. Please keep scrolling if it doesn't resonate. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's already happened. I'm not trying to speak that into your life. I honestly think it's already happened. And you may have, you may be confused about what to say back. And, or it could just be that you feel communication coming. I don't know how to describe that. Whatever it is, you're very surprised. The kind of thing where if you receive a text from the person, you're probably going to screenshot it and send it to someone. Here's what I th I'm supposed to tell you to write out what you would say. Don't send it. That I'm supposed to definitely say, I'd, unless you really feel right about it. I think do a first draft. Just get your note, get your thoughts out. Do a first draft of what you would say, but don't do anything rash. Don't respond right away. Look, I've written books, and when you write a book, people who read the final book that gets published, it looks so easy to them. Like it, it flows so easy, and it's written on like an easy level and easy for them to understand. And they don't realize the amount of effort it took for that. They don't realize the amount of editing. And here's what I'm saying: like what I've come to realize, whether even my, even doing these videos here. Or text messages, basically you're constantly writing in first draft form. It sucks because it's like your first thoughts going out there without you thinking about it. And you really shouldn't do that. It's best just to really get your thoughts out because sometimes seeing them in front of you makes you think about them differently. Don't do anything in anger. Don't respond to anything emotionally. Be very calm. Don't let anyone get the best of you. Take time before responding. Also, be nice, be kind, kill them with kindness. Don't repay evil for evil. Seriously, that's not going to come back good on you. Nothing good can come of you. Even if, let's say they reached out to you angrily. There's nothing good that's going to come from you going back in anger because that could be what they want, just a response from you. But it doesn't have to be that. I feel like it's not that. I don't feel like it's anything bad. It's just one of those things where, oh, should I connect to this person again, friendship-wise, otherwise, I don't know. You're going to get your answer by writing about this because, honestly, that's how we channel. And you're doing it, too. Like, we help people who channel. And I've even had messages that I have. Like, that's sort of what I'm doing as I do the cards. We're just, you know, it's a channeled message that sort of flows through the cards, like from the energy I get from the cards. And, but even when I do messages without cards, I'm just sort of open channeling. Well, that's how we all do it. You all do it. Everyone does it. Try to go to, like, a just a place in your mind, like a dark room in your mind almost. And kind of just go blank. And then start writing, even if it's... Whether it's freehand with a notebook, just start getting your thoughts out, what you would say, or draft it in a note just to yourself, just something on your phone or device, whatever, you, whatever you're communicating on, draft out something. Don't send it. Don't even tell anybody about it. Don't tell your friends about it. Because the thing is, when we go and tell our friends and screenshot stuff and everybody starts talking, get to all this drama about, can you believe they said this to me? And then people get ideas in their head. I just hate that. That's why I, I really am not a texter. You don't know where that's going to end up. Anyway, I just feel like your answer lies in writing about this because that's how you're going to channel the answer. You're going to figure out how you really feel about this and what you should do. That is going to give you clarity about this. I can't give you the answer. You can by channeling yourself and writing about this. That's God speaking through you. It's all about writing books. I'll talk more about that later. I've done some videos about that. But they know what they did. They know they threw you away. And they know they don't deserve to come back to you. They really do. Like, I feel like they're coming back with their tail between their legs. And you kind of know that. And you're maybe wondering why. And you even have every right to ask them that. And, you know, that could be what you have to say. But anyway, I just feel like whatever it is starts with you writing about it, free writing, getting to know yourself, getting to know how you really feel about this. That's when the answer will come.